93% of communication is nonverbal. Yet most guys are only focusing on what they say when they're speaking. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you seven things you can do right now with your body language to be perceived as more attractive and more confident. Number one, use this hand gesture to demand more attention. Why do powerful men like Elon and Ronaldo always put their hands like this? It's because you can influence others with your hands, but only if you use the right hand gestures and you use the right hand to do it. In a study published on PubMed, Researchers had two groups explain a metaphor. The first group used their right hand to explain, while the second group would use their left hand. What the scientists found is that when a participant would explain a metaphor with their left hand, not only did the explainer feel more confident, but the listener was also more attentive. The reason is that people aren't used to seeing others use their left hand as much as their right hand. So when you're talking to someone, whether in person or at a cafe, you wanna make sure your right hand is occupied. If you're standing, you can be holding your phone. If you're sitting, you can be holding your coffee cup. Then you're gonna explain using your left hand instead of your right hand. You'll not only feel more confident, but the person you're speaking to will be more attentive. They'll be paying attention. Look, body language is that simple. Just by you switching the hand that you use to talk, you're making yourself more interesting. People are gonna pay attention to you. It's a massive upgrade. Now imagine if you finish this video and you actually apply all seven techniques I'm about to show you. Bro, your charisma is gonna be out the roof, bro. Let's go to number two. Learn to read other people's minds only using body language. By just understanding their body cues, you can influence those around you by knowing what to avoid and you appearing more confident. So I'm gonna show you five body language cues you wanna study in men followed by five body language cues you want to study in women and what they mean. For men, one, a soft and weak handshake. This means they lack confidence in what they're about to say. Two, if the first words that they speak are soft or they're broken, that means that they're intimidated by you. Three, fidgety and playing with their nails. It means that they're nervous. Four, if a man can't maintain eye contact, it means that they're threatened. And five, if his feet are pointing away from you, it means that they want to leave that situation. You want to study these five signs to always understand what type of man you're talking to in front of you. Now, here are five cues for women. One, a slight tilt in the head means that she's genuinely interested in you and what you're saying. If she's neutral, it means that she's disinterested. Two, if she's within two feet of you, it means she's comfortable with you. If she's standing outside of that distance, it means she's uncomfortable with you and wants to leave. Three, if she's using a lot of hand gestures while she's talking, it means she's emotionally invested in what she's saying. Four, if she's touching her jewelry or her neck, these are known as pacifying gestures, which suggests she's feeling nervous. Five, if she smiles with her teeth, it means she wants to continue talking to you. If she smiles just with her lips, it means she's just trying to be nice to make you feel good. If you know these five female body cues, you'll always know exactly what she's thinking. Let's move on to number three. Use the right power color to look your best. As a man, you want to wear more color. You just don't want to wear it like this. Each color here looks good on its own, but together they clash and they make the outfit look messy. So here's how you're going to wear color the right way. First, you're going to find out what color looks best against your skin tone by looking at this skin tone color wheel. For the cooler skin tones, the brighter colors like blue, green, and yellow look great. For warmer skin tones, shades like dark blue, purple, or red are flattering. If you want to check your skin tone, you just want to hold a white piece of paper next to your face and look in the mirror. If your skin looks yellowish, you're warm tone. If your skin looks bluish or pinkish, you're a cool undertone. And when you're picking an outfit, only keep the colors on your outfit. Try to keep your shoes neutral, that way you can wear colors easily. For example, I love wearing sneakers. Now, the one thing with sneakers is that they get dirty very fast. I hate that, you have to be replacing them unless you try these from Vessi. Bro, I found these the other day and I've been wearing them nonstop. These are the black title sneakers from Vessi and they're waterproof, they're high quality, and they're super affordable for how they are. What I love about them is that I wear sneakers way too much and I'm tired of replacing them. But with these, because they're waterproof, they rarely get dirty and to clean them, it's a breeze. Stay dry in style with select waterproof vessels. Now, just $99 at Vessi.com. Don't wait. I'm gonna have Vessi linked down below. They have a wide range of shoes. They're all waterproof. And like I said, they're affordable. So there's a style for everyone. I'm also gonna have a special coat that's gonna make it even more affordable for you. Next, once you've chosen your color, you're gonna use contrast to make that outfit pop. Let's look at the color wheel again. Colors that are across from each other are complementary colors and they make each other stand out. Colors that are next to each other are analogous colors, which makes a contrast way more subtle, but still look good together. To wrap it up, if you're choosing to wear more color in your outfit, you can neutralize your sneakers even more and you can use something even more subtle like black. Vessi has a great pair of sneakers called the Stormburst sneaker. 
It's a black pair and these are waterproof as well. And because they're black, these will rarely get dirty. In other words, you can pretty much mix and match with any color alpha you have and you can be rest assured, you'll always look good. And the best part is because they're high quality, you're not gonna be replacing these. If you guys wanna check out Bessie, they're gonna be linked down below. Look at their entire range. But the two that I suggest, which I wear all the time, are the Stormburst sneaker. I'm gonna have those linked down below so you can wear the same ones that I wear. It's easier. Four, you're gonna maximize the three elements of your foot body language. I'm gonna show you three things you didn't know about your feet and what they're saying when it comes to body language. The first one is proximity, which refers to how close you are to someone when you're talking to them. If you wanna show you're comfortable, you need to place your feet within two feet from the other person. If you wanna convey discomfort, you want your feet at a distance and you wanna be outside that two foot range. Next is direction, which indicates where your feet are pointing. If you wanna show interest, always point your feet towards the person you're talking to. Converse, on the other hand, if you're in a conversation you wanna get out of, you wanna point your feet away from them to signal that you wanna leave. Finally, we have stance, which refers to how far apart your feet are. A wider stance, it conveys dominance and confidence. A narrow stance may come across as weak or insecure, so you always wanna stand around shoulder width apart. With that said, look, there isn't any point in putting this much effort in your feet if your shoes always look messy, which is why you should check out Vessi, bro. Damn, <laughs> I made that rhyme. But the point is, you don't wanna be in a conversation with a girl or with anybody, and they look down, your body language is on point, but your shoes are all scuffed up. How good you look depends on what you're wearing. It is so simple when you buy quality sneakers that look good with everything. Like the two that I just picked up from Vessi. Bro, these sneakers are so stylish, it makes any fit look good. If you guys wanna pick out the two pairs that I wear, I'm gonna have them linked down below. Like I said, I recommend the white and the black because they're just easy to pair with anything. Plus, there's gonna be a special discount that's gonna make it a steal. Five, you're gonna instantly become more attractive by walking with confidence. Most men will walk with their head down with this full forward tilt and a hunched back, it's like a nerd neck. This makes men appear weak and unattractive. I don't want that for you, bro. So here's how to fix these issues so you can start walking with confidence. I want you to stand up right now and follow these instructions. First, before you even start walking, I want you to imagine a tiny string attached to the top of your head and attached to your ceiling. This is pulling your head upwards, pulling your chin slightly up. Next, you're gonna pull your shoulders back and down until you feel a slight tension on your traps and upper back. Now is when you start walking, but notice I'm not looking down. My hands are in my pocket. I'm not looking at my phone. I'm looking straight ahead while my arms are swaying parallel to my upper thighs. This is what shows dominance, confidence, and control. Now, if you really wanna level this up to the highest level, you wanna add a slight sway to your shoulders. To do this, you're gonna let your hands swing slightly more towards the back swing of your stride. This will push your shoulder back a bit to create a natural sway. This is insanely attractive. In the same way how women sway their hips when they walk that you find that attractive, similarly, women will notice that sway in your shoulders and find it attractive because it conveys confidence. Six, you should never do this when you're sitting down. Look, there are a few things you can do to drastically appear more confident anytime you're sitting down. First, you wanna avoid any body language that makes you appear small, like sitting with your legs closed. Instead, keep your legs or knees shoulder width apart and open. Second, avoid leaning in with your head and your body. Instead, you wanna lean back while you're extending your legs outward. Third, never look down. Always keep your head and your chin up. To make it easier, just focus on looking in between the eyebrows of the person you're talking to. Fourth, avoid any pacifying behavior such as biting your nails, playing with your jewelry, or rubbing your arms as these are signals of discomfort. And fifth, you wanna steer clear from any erratic behavior like tapping your fingers or your feet constantly or like moving your head around looking everywhere. Instead, remain calm. Now, you've learned how to use hand gestures to command attention. You've learned to read other people's mind with their body language. You've learned how to move your feet to look more confident. You've learned how to walk with confidence and now you've even learned how to sit with confidence. These changes will instantly make you look more dominant and more attractive. That's a guarantee and you can do them now. But there are two more changes I want you to do to your body language that's gonna change the game forever. Number seven, use the three second pause to increase magnetism. A super simple way to increase your charisma and magnetism is with your body language and you're gonna do it with a three second pause. When someone asks you a question, instead of immediately trying to answer, I want you to look slightly to your side. You can even place your hand near your mouth, almost like you're in deep thought to add even more weight to your body language. You can almost even slightly move back and count to three seconds. When you do this, you signal 
that you are extremely invested in what that other person is saying, as well as carefully crafting your answer. This demonstrates confidence, self-assuredness, but also it keeps the other person at the edge of their seat, waiting for what you have to say. Number eight, you will use these two hand body language tricks to control any situation. If you wanna take control of any situation you face, you need to use these two hand gestures. The first is the placator. When you approach someone, you want your hand in your palms facing upward. This creates a very warm and open approach, which is ideal to use with people of lower status. And no, I'm not just saying this as my opinion. This is all backed by science. Biologically, we are more likely to trust someone when we can see their open palms. The second is the leveler. And this is when you approach someone with your palm facing downward. Notice how even my tone changed. That's because this gesture is used to convey authority. Now imagine you use this in two situations. First, I want you to picture me talking to an old friend pointing my hand upward as I face them. Like, yo, man, it's been so long how, where you've been. Now, compare it to this. Hey, how have you been? How, you see the difference. The first, open and friendly. The second, it's closed off. That is a huge upgrade to your communication style. And all we did was change how you placed your hand. This is why body language is so important and why I want you to implement all eight body language tricks I just showed you so you can be more attractive and confident.